Well, having a little bit of fun today. We've got uh, Farmer Wayne's tractor out here and we're doing some cultivating today. We're very blessed to be able to uh, to have a tractor to use to, to work up our garden areas. And I don't get to use it all the time, so it's a lot of, it's a lot of fun for me. There she is right there. So now over here, I'm transplanting some trees. So we're getting uh, pine trees, long awaited pine trees on, our, on our, our berms out on the property line. And I had some hybrid willows planted out there and we're placing the pines like every 10 feet. So I had to take some hybrid willows out and I'm just taking and sticking them along the, uh, the waterway here. We're actually gonna add some pines in between this willow and the big pine there as well and just try and get things filled in and just blocked off from from the road once again i got the help of the tractor here it's so nice i take the tractor out there dig up the tree throw it in the bucket i got a scoop of fresh garden soil there so when i plant these trees i am placing them in fresh garden soil which is going to give them their best chance to to grow big and strong and have great beautiful lives So we decided to do lilacs over here and Casey is uh, planting our, our lilac area. So this whole area here and then kind of all the way around where she is there. So it's going to make a nice, they're perfect for back here. If you want the plant, shrub, tree, whatever you're planting to do good, always make that hole twice the width of the actual plant. And depending on the type of soil over here, it's wet. So you want to kind of keep this thing up out of the ground a little bit. Getting rid of all the spoils there. Them, but I, <laughs> I showed you how to hole. dig a hole. Well, I don't want to dig the hole. Right. Like that's that's totally his thing. I don't mind planting. This plug here was like a brick. It's like all, that was one solid. All, I dug that hole and just one big clump of dirt came out. Yeah, and then when I put it on here, it's like the ranger just like went boom. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm adding these lilacs in this area. You guys probably remember it as our wildflower area, but it was just a little too unkept for me. And some of the wildflowers that did take over, took over too much and didn't allow all the multi colors and textures to come through. So we're kind of just getting rid of that. So first I'm going ahead and planting these lilacs because lilac spray is one of our most popular in the store and we're actually sold out. So um, our lilacs are coming into blossom, which means a whole nother new batch for the season. And since it's so popular, I'm like, well, we're gonna add, you know, seven more lilac bushes this year. And, um, you know, it can get expensive when you're starting to add shrubs and perennials and all kinds of things like that, because not everyone gets things shipped in for free. So these weren't shipped in for free. They were expensive, but um, that's why you just gotta Put in the amount that you need to grow, and then if you need more, then you just keep adding as time goes on. Here are the comfrey that we added last year. We got all kinds of fun things that we are doing with those this year, and they returned just absolutely beautifully. So we actually seeded some of our own again this year, and so that's what you see over here. Yesterday I planted these in here. I want a beautiful little border of comfrey, and then the lilacs will sit right in inside of that frame. 
And you're probably wondering what are we doing with all of this wild invasive grass and and weeds and wildflowers in this space well we're just getting things planted first and then we're gonna probably go ahead and lay down some weed barrier here to um, kind of you know suppress a lot of that stuff and then we're gonna just mulch right in here so today is not the greatest of days I'm hiding behind a tree here because it's so windy out and I want to eliminate the wind noise and my mic on me it's raining outside but we gotta we gotta get things done you know rain or shine things still need to to get done it's just been like a, a light mist all day this is day two to the the video that i started the other day today we're planting trees and filling some raised beds forrest is back here working on our big surprise and yesterday we had some pine trees go in on the berm if you can see out there long awaited pine trees that's where i'm going to be planting the uh the hybrid willows like this we're going to be putting these in between the pine trees and continuing to enclose ourselves in we're planting all these trees we got a lot of clay soil up here the best way to do it is to dig out a hole it's casey's idea dig out a hole and fill it all up with a nice garden soil mix that way the roots can can really root in it's good draining soil uh, anything likes a nice garden mix or topsoil better than a, a clay soil which doesn't drain very well so that's filling up that bucket I dig the hole up there bring the bucket up put some in the bottom of the hole plant the tree fill all around it with the garden soil we're good to go